Welcome to another Stage Analysis video. It's Sunday the 9th of June 2024. We'll start today's video with a, a look through some of the, the weekend watch list stocks, beginning with a look at Tesla, which has been starting to tighten up a fair bit over the last month. You can see over here on the, on the weekly chart, we've got four weekly closes in a, a very tight range now, sitting above a rising 10 week moving average with the SATA score down here, the stage analysis technical attributes dropping down to a, a very neutral four out of 10 at the moment. So it's been in the, the neutral range for the, the last four weeks, as you can see down here since the, the middle of May. Look at the, the sub industry and the industry groups though. Automobiles and automobile manufacturers here is one of the, the weakest groups overall. If we come to the, the top up here and go to the, the market breadth section, you can see if I click into the, the sub industry's bell curve here, Pull it up to the top. You see automobiles is, is way down here at the, the bottom of the range. Click into the automobile manufacturers. Not a huge amount in there, but you can only see only General Motors is what we call a, a stage analysis technical attribute strong score, which is a, a six or above. Others such as Tesla here are in the neutral ranges and the, the weak ranges. So anything below a three is considered in the weak range. So if we come back out of that and come back in, you can see the sector as well, consumer discretionary, only at 27% at the moment. So Tesla is actually one of the, the stronger stocks in the in the group at the moment with only GM at the in the upper range. So we go to a daily chart on this and zoom in a little bit. You can see we're in what we call stage four B minus. Actually, if we go back to the, the weekly chart first, you can see we've actually break this down a bit. So you can see the stage four breakdown area around this area before it started to, to move lower with a few continuation breaks lower. Then we had this reversal week. I think that was the following the, the earnings move gaps up. So can significant reversal bar there and then has been consolidating in a tight range, but relative strength still well below the, the Mansfield relative um, zero line here. So go to the, the daily chart. You can see that tightness that I've been talking about. We're still, still about a month away or so from earnings. I think Tesla's got earnings on the 17th of July, maybe at the moment. So it has been going down in stage four in a fairly fairly consistent channel low. So we had a, what we call a terminal shakeout that comes from the, the Wyckoff method and then these, these gap up moves and then it's been holding since the testing that first gap above its 50 day moving average and consolidating right around the, the 21 day moving average here. So we're looking for this to, to start breaking up and out of the, the near term range. If you look at the, the free ATR levels here, look for a break above the, the one ATR level generally, generally and then start to move its way higher but at the moment in what we call stage four B minus so if we go back to the, the weekly chart once more starting to, to develop a, a structure through here but at the moment still too early to be called stage one at the moment so still in stage four but in a slightly more positive position in in stage four at the moment as it consolidates above that 50 day moving average if it starts to drop back below that once more then just would be continuing lower in stage four once more but if it does start to develop through here we get push up towards its 30 week moving average and especially up towards that 200 day moving average then could start to turn towards stage one and even potentially an early stage two move if there was some significant strength on anything like that. Okay, let's move on, Tiger. So up um, T-I-G-R, up FinTech. So this is on watch for a stage two breakout attempt. You can see the last two days here had some, some strength on volume, starting to get back above the mental relative strength zero line here. So we go to a, a weekly chart of this. You can see it's been going sideways for a long time now. So since this original selling climax, automatic reaction, secondary test, so it started to form a base structure all the way back in 2022 and has been going sideways in that range for a long time now. Did have a, a shakeout move down here and a high low test and had a good good run up, more than doubling through that period, but has since rolled over and gone sideways. So now with the near term pivot points through this area here, 10 week moving average starting to approach the 30 week moving average, just crossing back above the Mansfield relative strength zero line, which you can see down here, the Mansfield RS. So it went from a minus six to a, a plus two here. So at the moment, 
just crossing the Mansfield zero line, going from a neutral five SAR to score to a, a, a strong nine currently. So in position in stage one for a potential stage two breakout attempt. The sub-industry and industry both in the neutral 40% ranges here. It's doing a, a weak sector overall with financials only at 30% of the financials and a, a SAR to score of six or above currently. It's back to the, the daily chart. We start to see a, a push out particularly above the, the $5 level here, then potentially could start to move into a potential stage two. So that one is on watch as well. You with a, a recent shakeout and a test, so the shakeout bar here and then a higher low test. So starting to come back in, first close back above the 50 day moving average in a while. Relative strength still well below the Mansfield relative strength zero line here. So we come back in to the, the weekly charts on the stage analysis website here. Again, weak sector, the IT sector's only got 30% at the moment. Lots of sectors at the moment are weak, however. It's the majority of stocks are on, on less than a, a SAR to six. So I quickly go into the, the sub industries here, for example, you can see the majority of groups in the, the left hand side of the of the bell curve here with very, very few at the moment and 9.64 in the strong side. And we go to the, the industries chart even more so. There's only 2.74% on the strong side there. So very, very heavily weighted on the, the left hand side of the chart and the groups one make that even more clear with the smaller only 25 groups here. See everything is practically in the in the weak zone here. So coming back out of that back into the weekly chart of you you can see as I said relative strength still below a declining zero line here the SATA score starting to pick up a little bit going from a weakest score of zero to a, a two so still in the weak zone at the moment but we've got this potential shake out and test here so Wyckoff sort of spring area here with shake out and a test so looking for this to, to start developing and pushing back up through the range so potentially Look for it to, to get back above that 30 week moving average and that that sign of strength to, to break out into potential stage two. We may need to consolidate for a while, but if it doesn't manage to get back above the 30 week moving average and rolls over through here, then could quite easily drop back into stage four again. But at the moment, still in stage one currently, starting to show a little bit of signs of development. Could some people may argue 4B minus here because it's above the 10 week, still below the 30. But with the, the crosses above the, the 30 week moving average here and the still higher lows that have formed since this area here. This is potentially a, a stage one structure currently just with a with a shakeout. So a very, very raggedy one, but that's what I would I would give it currently. You can see sort of a, a broad downtrend channel within this sort of deeper structure at the moment. So now with this coming back into you here let's go rxt so on watch for a, a stage two breakout attempt so this one's been getting very very close to the, the top of the stage one range it's had a few attempts to make early breakouts into stage two which ultimately failed came back in back under the 200 day moving average again and started to rock down again so a few up thrusts through here came in so the original selling climax had a big sort of rag raggedy move up into an automatic reaction secondary testing areas then has formed this this higher structure so you get this a lot when you've had a, a deep stage four decline such as this you'll have a big short covering rally initially off the selling climax into the automatic um, rally type area here so which starts the the broader structure but then you'll start to form a, a higher base structure so higher low through here and then we form this this higher structure within here so at the moment still in this tighter area for the last four to five months or so well, six months now so looking for a, a new stage two breakout could actually happen in this kind of area here so at the moment so the score has moved from a neutral five back up to a seven again in the strong zone again weak overall the technology is weak application software is weak for only 23 percent in the sub industry and industry on SATA scores of six at the moment but this is outperforming currently with that and so in the upper range for for those stocks